Really? That got me? I'm impressed. Oh, they tricked me into dashing so that I would fall in here. That's good level design. You got me. All right, you got me. More you. We got another seeker boy over there. I don't want to activate him. Until... Oh, I was going to say until we got everything under control, but then I derped the forward slash. It is eventually going to bite me in the butt if I don't have a map I can consult. Ooh, you're just like a little death trap just to get in there so that guy can eat you up, huh? Look at, you know, I haven't remarked on it because I've been so focused on trying to kind of get a handle on where I am. Look at the environment in this level. It is all just carapaces. Carapaces and like equipment. Really? I thought you were going to clip the wall there. I tricked him into this guy, so at least I'm going to call it a partial victory. It's a bug version of stacks of bodies? Exactly. It's just like a corpse pit. It's like the beginning of Vampire, but in Hellenest. Oh, I got lucky there. We hit him above us with a forward slash. I'll take it. Ooh, something new over there. Look at these just like worm things sticking up. I wonder what would happen. Or nothing. Maybe they aren't dangerous. Oh, really? I was on top of him when he came to life. If I jump into one of these, yeah, they're not dangerous. They're just free soul. They're like the equivalent of the mini worm. There are so many of them. Look at the change in the environment. From pretty normal to now just look. Just baby worms and what looks like egg sacs. Are we about to meet mama? This mama worm over here. I didn't hit jump fast enough and got a secret area accidentally. Yeah, I bet mama. I think you are on the money. I think mama incoming. I think we found mama. How come this was from the hidden entrance? Let me let me go back and go to the other entrance right quick. Is that just a shortcut to get there? Oh, I would have missed a treasure chest. Get out of here. We ain't giving up that Geo. Come on. Do I just... Maybe... Am I in a more advantageous position if I enter from below? No. Oh my god, I hate these guys. Huh. That's weird. All right, well, no matter. I guess we just straight on till mama. I'm gonna camp out right here before in good conscience I can send the knight in to go fight what looks like a giant gross mother worm. I gotta make sure he's hydrated. So I'm gonna go take a chance to fill up my water bottle. If you have an empty water bottle, you should do the same thing. Let's meet back here in two minutes and fight worm mama. I'll see you in a second. All right, I'm back. Let's go see, uh, let's go see what worm mom's got to say.
She's not hostile. Reminds me of the little juice box from school. It's so cute. It is a fun little emoji. All right. Um, I mean, it's not doing anything. Am I a jerk if I attack this? Fluke marm. Oh god. Oh, of course. I'm like, oh, I hate these guys. And then she's like, oh, how about I just throw them at you? Oh god, I'm getting absolutely wrecked. Does she stop throwing them eventually? Not eventually enough. Oh my god, look at this. <laughs> absolutely destroyed. Wowzer. And of course, we don't have our map. So now I gotta remember how to get back over there. Yeah, after like, they were not screwing around. That's like one of the more irritating enemies we've met in the game. And for this whole boss fight to seemingly be like a summon gauntlet from them, uh, questionable. Questionable. It looks like it's an optional boss, too. I'd be interested. I'm going to have to double check when we're done with the game. Because I swear to God it made the secret noise um, when we triggered it. Oh, that's right. They tricked me into this corner. We're not carrying a ton of Geo, but I would like to go get my body back. Um, and I don't see any reason why not to give Fluke Marm another shot here. I gotta remember everything on our way over there is recharged, so we can't just run in. Maybe I can get up on top of her and just do like the world's greatest pogo combo. Do like a Tony Hawk caliber pogo combo. Not gonna be doing much of anything without some freaking health. I will say that about these guys, at least they give me like a pretty healthy supply of souls since you fight through their three stages. Yep, I know, you're so angry. Hopefully she's not aggressive right from the jump here. Maybe we get another chance to kind of pick our poison. Okay, cool. Plus that does give me a chance to fight my shade. Nope. Okay, so she's pissed. Oh, I can do this, but it doesn't help me because they fly up so hard. I mean, I'm, do I just, like, fight her as fast as I can? I don't understand. Is there a maximum number? Can I just like circle her? I have questions. I have questions that only Fluke Marm can answer. Did I ever go left here? Oh go! Oh no! I have to be very careful. I get less heal there, but it was a safety play to make sure I didn't inadvertently lose my last pip of health. Okay, heal up. I think I went left here. Oh yeah, this goes into the water basin with the, yeah, 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 yeah. All right, ignore that. There's nothing down there but sadness. Oh, can't, that's such bad damage I'm taking there. Oh God. 
Oh, I shot it the wrong way. Oh, but then I left myself without enough to heal. Oh, wait, we got one of these. We're golden. Things are dicey down here in the waterway. Try to kill the small ones, then slash big one before she spawns more killer babies. Yeah, I mean, I, you're right. I have to get rid of the ads. The problem is, I don't know. I don't know that there's a limit. I, we're gonna have to just kind of, I guess, focus in on the hope that if I kill enough of the small ones, it gets to a different phase. But unfortunately, that requires me to kill an enemy that I have shown that I am not great at dealing with. It's not that they come at me at, like, awkward angles. Like, they're actually quite predictable. I'm just bad at it. Alright. Get our soul first here. Whoop. You gotta slash at it the right way. Oh my god, I took damage from my soul. Not a good look. She's gonna start eating them. If we fight below one of these, I at least get a chance to, like, react. And then just... Oh, God, that one came from off screen. Yeah, see, like, I don't fully understand. There's no, like, safe place for me to hide. There's no stopping. I'm wondering if it's just, like, ignore them entirely and just damage race her. Does someone in chat want to take a quick look for fluke marm strategies? Because I am certainly open to suggestions. I think this is actually the safer way to get down here, even though it means we got to fight the one dude in the water. Because it means I don't trigger like six of them at once. Oh, that was stupid. Third upgrade now equip fragile strength. Oh boy. Oh, I didn't think of that. We had all that geo. I could have bought those uh, upgrades. So it sounds like I'm maybe here before I should be. Because I certainly don't have the means for a nail upgrade. Third nail kills flukes in one hit. Well, that would certainly help a crap load. My cat has climbed on my desk. So everyone keep your fingers crossed and you might get a cameo from Pixel. Reddit says, once your nail is strong enough to kill the flukes in one hit, the fight becomes a piece of cake. Alternatively, just equip Thorns of Agony. Do I have Thorns of Agony? We don't. Alright, so what I'm, what I'm hearing is you do not have the correct tools. So we'll give this one more shot. How much Geo is on our body? I guess we'll find out in a second when I reclaim it. I'm trying to decide whether or not to give this one more go or not. <sighs> like 800 Geo? I mean, this would be enough to go get Fragile Strength. Um, while you guys are checking stuff for me anyway, would someone kindly go take a peek and see about what the heck I do about Cornifer in the Royal Waterways? See, once I'm, like, hit, just the... it's the beginning of the end. Only got the one heal off and I immediately lost it. I 
don't think that's gonna happen. Let's go get our souls back and leave Fluke Marm for another time. That is one of the advantages of the kind of Metroidvania style game that I really like, is that you get that cool, um, like, fail and try again. Like, I would be much more frustrated if I had to beat this boss right now to progress. Like, because we kind of were in that situation with Mantis, um, the Mantis Lords, right? Like, we could have left to go upgrade the nail, and I didn't, because I kind of figured out the Mantis Lords fight. But man, if I had, if Mantis Lords was required, I would have been frustrated. Oh god, you only have one hit? Damn prolapsed Aimness Marm. Look, Fluke Marm has had a lot of babies. She's trying to stay fit, okay? I don't think it's fair of us to question Fluke Marm's uh, appearance. Fluke Marm's trying. Oh god. I was almost in a situation where it didn't matter how much Geo we had on our body. I haven't died while my body's out in the wild though, so I guess I can't confirm that we lose our Geo. I'm just assuming it's like soul style. Man, I am just I'm getting housed. Taking all kinds of pretty terrible damage as he takes more terrible damage. Did anyone have any luck on what I do about Cornifer here in the waterways? Because it could be something that I was missing that was obvious. I will not discount that. Alright. Sorry, Fluke Marm. We're gonna come play later after it's an unfair advantage in my favor. That was a treasure chest. And then this takes me, what, back up to the bench? No, the other side of this. Oh, I could have just been jumping left this whole time. I'm just continuing. Oh, man. From the first bench, I might have found the way. All right, so hang on. Let me try and backtrack to the first bench. You're talking about the slanted bench? This one? Okay, I'm at the slanted bench. I've gone up from the slanted bench. Okay, I'm at slanted bench. A gated arena with a swarm of horns. Clear the room of them in the gate in the left wall. Oh my god, that's all I had to do? I just had to clear that room? Why? That's so frustrating. Normally when they've hit me with that like gated room nonsense, it's been in a room that I like had no choice because I there was no exit. I don't it's not this one though, it's further in. Um that's so weird of them to kind of hit me with a new variation on it. Thank you very much, Misha and Weenie. I appreciate you. That should make our time here in the waterways a little bit more enjoyable. These guys make the freaking most ridiculous noises. They just scream all the time. <laughs> He's like right over here. Well, it's good to know about uh, nail number three. Did the nailsmith tell us what we needed for more nail upgrades? I can't remember. Next time we're in the city, I might want to go backtrack to the nailsmith and talk about nails with him. Yeah. 
Yeah, I don't either, Mishifish. That's what I'm saying. I, he said something. He upgraded my busted nail for free. Because he was just like, yo, I can't let a nail leave my hut in that condition. How dare you deface such a beautiful weapon? But then I don't remember what he said about making them better in the future. Alright. Don't fall here. The platforming's gotta stay hot hot. Oh, you almost tricked me. You tricksy devils. Okay. <laughs> this does have a floor. I couldn't remember if they like locked me into this with nothing below me as a safeguard. What? You weren't dead? Cornifer's like, oh, thank goodness. I was waiting for someone to clean that room up. Oh my god, it's literally that easy. Thank you, chat. Anyone watching this on the VODs is going to be like, You idiot! Why'd you leave? Alright. Well, that didn't open this gate, huh? What did that open? Alright, Cornifer. We got unfinished business, my friend. Oh -ho! Aren't these waterways thrilling? A labyrinth of pipes and tunnels. I couldn't have asked for a better place to employ my talents. It's all so orderly, so considered. Nothing like the crude irregularity of those caverns. Ah, but so sad. My trunk is telling me those fungal wastes are close, and I sense my damp adventure may have reached its end. I guess I'll be calling this map done. I will buy your map, corner for my friends. I'd wager these pipes and chambers were once used to carry the city's waste. Would have been a horrid stench down here. Thankfully, that constant rain has flushed them clean. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't know how much I trust the rain, though, either, corner for my guy. Alright. We have a map. I don't have my compass equipped, though. Oh, this connects back over to Fungal Waste from up there? But that's the way that I couldn't advance past, wasn't it? No. This corner for is where I couldn't advance past. And he just said that they're close. There's Fluke Marm on our map. Okay. We just need to get back. I'm gonna die. <laughs> just... <laughs> so... So focused on getting to the map. Or to the bench. That I didn't even think about it. Alright, let's take off our Geo Collector. And put our compass back on. Now that we can kind of legitimately navigate the waterways. Yeah, okay. I hear a grub or something. Like, I hear this thing. Don't get me wrong. But isn't there also like a... I hear it. I just don't know where it is. Nope, we need to stay up. Oh man, I hope my shade's not down in the water. That would suck. He's gonna overrun me. Yeah. Alright, beautiful. Interesting. So the full... Full grown worm takes three slashes. And then it took me one Vengeful Spirit and two Slashes. So it looks like with our upgraded nail, we're probably only looking at about the strength of a Vengeful Slash equals one Slash. Sorry, a Vengeful Spirit equals one Slash from our nail. So it's not like huge gains. It's just a good way to get up from a distance. My Spirit does appear to be below. Oh, I just trick him into the water. Spirit in the water? Easy. Alright. 
let us go right. So I know where Fluke Marm is. We're, she's not going anywhere. We're going to have more chances for Fluke Marm down the road. Let's push ahead right to some of these areas that have visible exits and start seeing what we can uncover. So I don't want to stay up. I do want to drop down. And then all the way right from here. Do you guys see that weird texture seam right next to me above where that geo is? I think that is the first unpolished moment I've seen in this entire game. That is a testament to Team Cherry that that stuck out to me because everything else has been so seamless. Good for them. I mean, not good for them that there's a texture scene, but good for them that everything else is so buttery. My new strategy with these guys is to just give them my life force and maybe they'll leave me alone. Do you have to clear an area to be able to go back and upgrade your stuff? No, we can upgrade anyway. So like, I, I can equip new badges anytime we're at a bench. Um, that's the only thing that prevents you from swapping badges around is you have to be at a bench. Um, to upgrade my nail, we're gonna need to go see the nail smith, but I don't know what he wants. Hello? Hello? Who just made loud, boisterous noises at me? Someone did. So yeah, I don't, I don't know what we're supposed to do to upgrade our stuff, Weenie. Someone over here is real chatty. I'm coming. I'm trying, bud. You're in such a weird spot. Are you friendly? We'll, uh, we'll take a side trek and go back to the Nailsmith and double check that when we're done here in the waterways before we end the stream tonight. I don't know that I trust whatever's happening in here. It looks like, do you guys see this right above me? It looks like there's a portcullis here that's going to drop. This might be a boss fight. Portcullis. Hi. What are you? The Dung Defender. All right, Dung Defender. You and me, buddy. I like you more than the Fluke Marm. It's not really a testament to you. That's more of me hating the Fluke Marm. He's doing the breaststroke through poop. So he just lives in the old waste of the Hallow Nest City. That's hilarious. Oh, you got cheap damage on me there. Don't appreciate it. Oh, I should use those to heal, because if I attack, they just pop right back up. But they stay down for a minute if I don't um if I don't interact. With oh, he's putting two of them into play now. Spot to heal here. He gets the three heal. I gave one back, but it still turned into a two heal, so I'll take it. Alright. Oh, I don't have any heal left. That's the downside, is that I just goofed up. Oh, I can strike the dung balls? Oh, now he's gonna bounce? That's some bull, son. I'm just getting shrecked. Man, that sucked. I was doing really well, and then I just let it fall apart. One heal at once would be safer. I, so I agree with you, Afterlife, to a degree. There are times, because of the diminishing timeline that it takes to do multi-heals, there are times where I feel you're putting yourself at a disadvantage if you don't try and heal for more. And admittedly, sometimes I pay for that greed, but I feel like, by and large, it's a pretty safe bet. 
Um, I don't remember fighting these guys, so we might be in the wrong passage. Can I still get up from here? I don't think so, because I think... Yeah, this appears to be a totally different spot. So I gotta go back. I will say that I think that Dung Defender is a much more winnable fight right now. I did not feel as just completely outmatched. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm coming, bud. Where did my shade wind up? That is a question worth knowing. I love how boisterous this dude is. His voice acting is awesome. Is it going to be right down here in this hallway? Are you going to make me fight him in the boss room? Really? In the boss room? Cute, guys. Alright, at least I can kill him quick. Alright, so when I get those periods where we knock him down and he, like, has to sit and wait, those are my heal windows. And I'm only going to heal outside of those if are totally needed. He's already doing the stage 3 nonsense? What is this shit? I don't understand. He, like, didn't reset his combat style? This, yo, the sound effect when he dies through the poop is low-key hilarious. Alright. Don't run with the bounce. Just, like, I can coexist with it. And then it's just about kind of staying in my lane. Speed up, is that what I'm seeing here? Bless you, Alright. He like powered up, but he then used his easiest attack, so I'm not upset at that. He's doing Scrooge McDuck dives. He's doing Scrooge McShit dives. Tibole! He sounds like a Hispanic uncle at a barbecue telling you to come in and eat. He did like invite us in. He was like, yo, come check out my poop collection. Maybe that's the whole reason for the fight. Maybe like I wasn't impressed enough with the poop collection and he took offense. He does let me just go ham on him when he's bending down to throw a poop ball, though. So I'm okay with that. Get tricked! Alright. Dung Defender, a much easier fight. We have unlocked the achievement Honor. What do we got here? The Defender's Crest. A unique charm bestowed by the King of Hallow Nest to his most loyal knight. Scratched and dirty, but still cared for. Causes the bearer to emit a heroic odor. <laughs> I'm rich and shit? That's exactly it. He was like, yo, y'all ain't seen, y'all ain't never seen a shit collection like this. What is this? Oh, we turned on the water flow? Okay. What does that do for me? Hmm. Does it show more left here, or was that my imagination? It does. It shows another left here. Oh, because there's a beam here that I can break. He sounded jolly. Sadly, he was just out to get you. I don't know that he was out to get us. I think he was just doing his J-O-B. But he was happy to do it. He's like, you know, there's a lot of times in fiction where you've got, like, the, uh... 
the knight that's like sad that he has to kill you, but he's got to do his duty for his kingdom. I get that kind of a vibe from Dung Defender. Dung Defender's okay, especially like when we've just had the experience of Fluke Farm. Like, I'll take Dung Defender. Alright. We're officially in uncharted territory. This is off of Cornifer's map. Wait, is this. Are we back in the city? Yeah, we're back in City of Tears. Interesting. I forgot how to fight these guys. Oh, you gotta wait and fight them when they're getting ready to slash. He thought you were on MTV Cribs? He thought I was the MTV Cribs filming crew, and then when I wasn't, he was like, what are you doing in my house? Oh, man, he does a lot of damage. I don't, have I fought that guy before? That specific fight type? Oh God, we're still over here. You know when I have just deduced, if you look over there, there's that big vertical shaft. We can try the down there. But if I am being honest, what I'm more interested about this from a mapping perspective is that it looks like that central chamber in the Forgotten Crossroads that I've never been able to figure out that seems to have that big elevator in it. I wonder if that elevator is hydraulic and we have just reactivated the source that allows it to function. That would be cool. Can't bank the stacks, spend them before you use them. I mean, he was. He hey, how are you, bud? We can be friends now? See, I told you guys, Dung Defender's the best. Oh, it's you again. I'm glad to see you return. No, no, please, don't say a word. I must apologize for my previous behavior. Entirely my fault. I mistook you for one of those mindless skulking husks, yet you bested me in the most majestic knightly fashion. I, dung, dung Defender's a bro. Such joyful, vigorous combat. I had almost forgotten the feeling. I was once a knight, you see. By the grace of our good king, I stood proudly before the throne, watching Hallowness swell to greatness. Then that nasty business with the affliction. Yo, tell me everything. This is like our first... Uh, like, crazy good primary resource for information on Hallow Nest? <laughs> we knights right. defend against the physical, but a formless enemy? How to defeat such a foe? Our king tried in his own way. A cruel means it was. And still, eventually, we were brought low. Bah, I shouldn't be so morose. You've invigorated me. Tis truly a delight to meet one whose strength can match my own. <laughs> Go now, yeah. mighty warrior of Hallow Nest. You've proven your honor. Good fortune on the path ahead. Yo, Dung Defender. You're you're the guy though. 